can't believe this just happened. Oh, my QuickBase junkie friend, have you ever discovered that the records in your QuickBase were accidentally deleted? This can cause hours of rework and undue stress. Let's put an end to that by removing the ability to delete while still giving your users the option to, air quote, delete. Sound too good to be true? Let's see how it's done. The first thing you'll need to consider is who can and can't delete records. Typically, admins will have the ability to delete, but even we can make mistakes. Next, we'll adjust the role settings for those that should not be able to delete. Last, and this part's optional, we can add a faux delete button, which hides the record from the main reports. This can help you avoid users coming to you with requests to delete their misentered records. Let's stop this madness and get to saving some records. For this video, I'm using a QuickBase from the QuickBase App Exchange called the Complete Project Manager. I'm going to be focusing on the time cards table. Let's say I have an issue with managers deleting time cards. Let's see what they have access to. Testing as a manager, I can see I can delete all the records in the table, or when editing an individual record, I also have the option to delete. I want to be able to stop that from happening. To do so, I'll need to navigate to the application settings. Once here, I can open the roles, choose the manager role, and then look at the time card settings. So here for time cards, I see that the check mark for delete is checked, enabling them to delete those time cards. I'm going to want to uncheck that box, which should remove their ability to delete. Going back to that time cards table, I'll check again as a manager. And now you can see I don't have the ability to select all the records in order to delete them. And when I edit a record, I also no longer have the ability to delete. Now that's great, but you might also want to be able to give them the option to at least feel like they're deleting in case there was a mistake. So in that case, I've already added two fields. One called delete that's a checkbox, and another that'll be a URL button. So let me do the settings for this URL button. For this formula, I'll be using an API. Now I know this looks complex, but I'll walk you through the steps. Essentially what I'm doing here is using the edit record API by first identifying what QuickBase I'm using with the URL root function here followed by the DB, which stands for database, followed by the DB ID, the database ID, or in this case, the particular QuickBase that I'm using, followed that again by the uh, API edit record, followed by the record ID, which is identified by the record ID field, and then that's followed by the field ID that I want to modify. In this case, it's the checkbox that I call delete, and I'm giving that the number one, which means checked. That is then followed by a redirect, so that way after the user clicks the button, it'll check the box and then redirect them back to the home page for the table for time cards. In addition to the formula, I'll also want to make some settings so that this looks like a button. I'll give it a name. We'll call it delete, and then we'll display as a button on forms and reports. I'm going to make this a bright red button, and save. I can now see on my form a button called delete that will allow that checkbox to be checked. Now I'm leaving the checkbox visible for purposes of this tutorial, but in reality, I would hide that checkbox on the form. So now when I click this delete button, 
My record appears to have been deleted. There previously were 31 records, there's now 30. Let's go ahead and do that again. We'll edit a record, mark it as delete, and now again we can see there's 29. Let's try that one more time. And delete, and it returns me here. So what I've done on this report is already filtered out any of the items where delete the checkbox is not equal to one or essentially the checkbox is not checked. So where are all those records going? Well, that's where we look for another report called deleted time cards. Here we can see the deleted time cards and I'm using deleted with air quotes because really they've just been hidden from the report using the filters and that checkbox. Here we can now edit any of these records that should not have been deleted or as an admin, I could review them and decide to permanently delete them. There you go. It's how to stop users from deleting records that should not be deleted, as well as creating a faux delete button that will allow your users to think they're deleting, but really give the option to restore those items if necessary. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.